Hey, what is up people, Mr. Bob right here, and this is a continuous tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11 Pan and Crop Tool and Render Settings, so once, uh, you need to watch that video first guys, before you go on to this video, please go down to the link in the description, and also maybe an annotation on the video, please go down and watch that video first because this is a continuous video from that and this is this video is all about oh you already have your video you already render it from Sony Vegas or any other software rendering video like uh, Adobe After Effects Windows Movie Maker uh, what else uh, there's other uh, softwares that do videos but you, you already rendered your video and everything right but the file size is super big. Like for me, um, the Budokai Tenkaichi, a uh, Budokai Tenkaichi, thank you, oh my god. Um, the Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 intro is just like two minutes long, or one minute and fifty minutes long. But it has a it has a huge file. The same thing when you render it on Windows Movie Maker or on. Uh, Adobe After Effects. It has a huge file because of uh, the HD quality that you put in it. So I also made another video but it was a little bit while ago which is Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2 all titles. How to get all the titles on Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2. I'll put down in the link in the description so you can watch that video if you want to. But it's a video that I did before and if you can see right here, the file size on it is 684 megabytes. Now that's a huge file, right? That's a huge file. Compared to the intro of Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, it's only 120 megabytes, right? But if you see right there, size 125, 120 megabytes is going to take you almost probably like an hour to upload. And like, what? An hour? But yeah, because it's a huge file, and it's HD, so mostly you're gonna waste a lot of uh, time trying to put it on YouTube. So we're gonna go to any browser you want, from Firefox, Google, Chrome, or Internet Explorer, I doubt that. And also guys, I'm watching some of uh, Kate's videos, Kater17, please go subscribe to her guys, she's a really awesome um, vlogger and you're seeing like why is she mean or whatever <laughs> but I'm watching one of your videos right now but I'm just doing this um, tutorial for you guys so I'll go to www.youtube.com I'm going to upload a video I'm going to upload again the you can set it to whatever privacy you want but I'm going to put it on private right now because it's just a tutorial for you guys um, I'm gonna put it for Dragon Ball Z Ranger Blast 2 all titles alright I'm gonna put that and look at that how many minutes 154 minutes remaining that's like let's see that's like two hours and 30 minutes probably let's see 60 yeah two hours and 30 minutes that's a lot right that's a lot of time trying to upload that video once you already render it on Sony Vegas Adobe After Effects or Windows Movie Maker right it's going to be a long time trying to upload this video because of how much the file size is so we're not going to do we're not going to upload the raw file or the file that you render on what I'm going to tell you guys is use this program, alright? Free Movie Converter. This helps me a lot to reduce time and stay within the time that the same thing as my rendered video was. Like for uh, the Raging Blast 2, it took me like an hour trying to upload it. Or less. Or mostly an hour or something because it's mostly like over 10 minutes so it's totally free guys uh, the free movie maker uh, free make 
video converter is totally free just google it on yeah just google it on the internet it'll be super free guys it helps me a lot on my videos trying to not waste a lot of time trying to upload it on YouTube because it takes forever and ever because the file size is real huge so we're gonna go to video here and we're gonna pick our Sony Vegas finished videos which I already rendered from so we're gonna click on that or whatever video that you already rendered with on Adobe After Effects, Sony Vegas or WMV and you have a button and you're gonna go to convert you could do audio DVD photos but I mostly use it for video you're gonna convert and you have all of these to convert you can convert it to AVI, WMV, Apple, DVD, MPEG, MP4, MP3, 3GP, MKV all of these Xbox, Sony, Samsung, Android, YouTube don't use that YouTube I don't like that YouTube. I never use it. Don't use it. But uh, I mostly go to AVI. All right. Once you go to AVI, remember last time our file size was 684 megabytes. So you gotta go to convert to AVI, and it's gonna reduce to 292 megabytes. Now that's much better than. 684 megabytes and that's what I do every time whenever I render my videos on Sony Vegas I render it then after that I go to my free make movie uh, video maker or free make video converter and re and re reduce my two my 684 megabytes to 292 megabytes I mean that's one huge good um, software to reduce your your file size on your video and you can make like a good time while trying to upload it on YouTube. Um, I mostly use it AVI because it's much uh, smaller. If you go to WMV it will be like almost like the same thing but sometimes it might be a little bit big not too small like over maybe 300 or something but if you, if you choose MPEG look how much 926 it went to 684 684 megabytes to 926 megabytes. I mean, don't use MPEG when you're going to convert it, alright, to YouTube. The same thing to MP4, 286 MB. Um, MP4, uh, MP4 is uh, uh, audio, my bad, my bad. But it's mostly AVI, WMB, and MPEG. Don't use MPEG at all, just use these two, but I recommend you to only use AVI. So once you do that, you got 290, 292 megabytes, you convert it, and you have like a little time limit. It, it goes super fast guys, it's really quick and easy, it probably will only take you like about maybe up to 5 minutes to render it. But I already did one, so I just got to cancel it. Uh, I'm gonna go to the video that I render from from the video converter. I mostly call it a converter because I convert it to the AVI and stuff. So I go to my videos, and right here, here it is, the 284 megabyte one, 284 megabyte one that I converted with uh, the free make video converter. All right. So once we have that. You gotta go back again to your upload um, browser to your YouTube. I'm also gonna put in private. Select file. Uh, don't go to your to your file that you render as. Don't go to that one. Go to the one that you already rendered in in Free Make Video Converter. Once once you already got it or whatever you placed it, here it is. Here's mine. And look, an hour, an hour to upload my Dragon Ball Z Rage of Blast to all titles. An hour, while the other one that we uploaded was two two hours and something minutes. I mean, that will reduce like about half of your time trying to upload your video. Anything that has to do with 
um, Sony Vegas or WMV or Adobe After Effects once you already render it. Um, please guys, uh, trust me, it works out a lot. Uh, I don't know if people use it that much, but I recommend you guys to get this program, Free Make Video Converter. It's really, really free. Just Google it. Uh, it's probably like going to be like the very first link, but make sure to go to it. It's really free. I think I'll show you guys for right now because I don't want you guys to be like, oh no, where is it? I don't, I don't find it. So you go to Free Make, Free Maker, uh, Video Converter, and it's right here, guys. The very first link, and you have it right here Free Video Converter, and download it. Alright, download it and get your render file that you did with your Sony Vegas, Adobe After Effects, or WMV or any other software that you rendered your clip your original clip that you did all of your translations your animations all of that once that's already rendered you go to Freemake Video Converter go to video find your video where you already rendered your whole your whole video go to convert go to ABI and convert it alright once you already convert it and also you could place it wherever you want right here you could like put it maybe on your documents on your desktop anywhere you want if you're like where, where do I go to make my own just go right here guys in this little box right next to it and you could put it anywhere you want but make sure you put the name and stuff and you save it whatever and convert it once you already convert it um, once you convert it put it on YouTube and just wait however however how long your video was the total render as the total render as as your video is going to be the total render as as you go to uh, to YouTube alright so I think that's enough of it please make sure to watch the very first video uh, if you're still confused about it just go to my very first video and also make sure to get that free maker convert um, free make video converter alright guys so damn it do well I say have a nice day guys later